How do you feel about your new committee assignments? Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I feel like this is a really strong position to be effective for my district. I, you know, we're a big timber district, um, which is part of the Ag Committee. And, um, you know, as somebody that had to personally navigate an SBA loan to purchase the garage that our business operates out of, uh, you know, that application took me a year to complete. It was like the size of a phone book. So I have a little bit of an ax to grind with the SBA, and I'm, I'm really excited to um, help make the federal government more effective and, and more accessible for small business owners. You know, I've known a lot of members of the Small Business Committee, especially in the Senate. Uh, that is the best expertise I have ever heard uh, <laughs> on someone just joining that committee. Uh, th th it's, this is such an important issue, and it's the kind of issue you never really hear about on the campaign trail with any authority, uh, how the Small Business Administration works. Uh, what's the first thing you want to try to accomplish there? Well, I mean, a, a, a real serious understanding of the the burden it is for small businesses to navigate the system. I mean, there are so many small businesses that would qualify for these loans, but just can't overcome the regulatory hurdle that these uh, applications present. And so uh, looking at maybe the, the broader available uh, businesses that would qualify and, and what our actual uh, attainment is in those loans um, and and more mentorship, you know, uh, and, and also just a, a clear application process. So uh, you live quite a distance uh, from Washington, D.C. You're one of those, uh, you know, long flight uh, members. Uh, have you found the balance yet of how to the running back and forth between home and Washington, D.C.? Well, I mean, it's always such a relief to get back home uh, to my district. I, it, Southwest Washington is the most beautiful place in the world. And so it makes the flight worth it and, and feel, um, you know, like, and, and I can be productive on the flight too. So uh, it's important to me to be really available in the district and accountable and present. And so that's just the cost of doing business is, you know, being on a plane twice a week. Do your voters understand at this stage what's at stake in the debt ceiling debate? Yeah, you know, we held our first person in town hall, uh, in person town hall last week in Stevenson, Washington. And um, that was one of the things that came up frequently. And people are concerned about it. People are paying attention all across the country. Um, you know, the headlines are up. And so, um, you know, I, I think we're all concerned. Uh, on the Agriculture Committee, what is your priority? Well, you know, we are a big timber district, and one of the things, like, okay, so go to the grocery store. I, I dare you, try and buy laundry detergent that doesn't come in a big plastic jug anymore. So many products that used to come in cardboard and paper are now all coming in plastic, and that's having terrible downstream effects for our oceans and shellfish habitats, right? Um, those microplastics are presenting a huge risk to our children's health and our natural resources. And I believe that one of the big solutions to that is more cardboard and paper. And so on the Ag Committee, I'm looking for avenues to start replacing plastic packaging and plastic products with renewable cardboard and paper.